improve the experience of students in school? Let me share something with you that I heard from Jeff Gilbert, who's the principal of Hillsdale High School in San Mateo, California. He said, school needs to be so much more like sports. In sports, there's a game. It's in front of an audience. But we run school like it's nonstop practice. You never get a game. Nobody would go out for the basketball team if you never had a game. What is the game for students? Isn't that striking? In school, we spend the vast majority of our time in the classroom. But what do we remember? Stuff from outside the classroom. We remember prom and performances and musicals and extracurriculars. And what does all that stuff have in common? They're all peak moments. They happen in public. They're social. There's a sense of pressure, a sense of competition. There's even some pomp and circumstance about them. I mean, notice how often we're actually wearing different clothes during these events. If you say, well, well, sure, that works for extracurriculars, but that kind of thing could never work in the classroom, you're dead wrong. Let me introduce you to two teachers of Jeff Gilbert, one named Greg Jarellis, he's a social studies teacher, and one named Susan Bedford, an English teacher. They got together and they made an explicit promise to each other that they were going to create an academic event as memorable as prom. Now let's remember, prom is the night when teenagers rent stretch limos and later vomit on each other. So this is a tall order we're talking about here. And I'm here to tell you, they succeeded. Their event starts with the author William Golding, who wrote the classic book Lord of the Flies, which paints a pretty bleak picture of human nature. It suggests that we are all savages at our core under a thin veneer of civilization. And the teachers ask their students to actually put Golding on trial for libeling human nature. The students will be the lawyers, the witnesses, the judge. Has Golding slandered mankind? Or is he right about us? For months, students prepare for the trial, and when the day comes, they ride school buses to an actual superior courtroom in the Bay Area. Now, to add some pressure, the jury is stocked with alumni and teachers and administrators. In past years, the witnesses have included people like Stalin and Florence Nightingale and the Dalai Lama, even Darth Vader. Some years, Golding is convicted. Other years, he walks free. But students never forget. There should be more peak moments like this in the student experience. In fact, there is a movement underway to allow students to do what's called public presentations of learning, where they can really dig into a topic and then present their findings in front of an audience. Parents already come to swim meets and dance recitals and musicals. Shouldn't they have a chance to see what their children are learning? If we care about improving the student experience, we need to move away from the drudgery of nonstop practice and learn to punctuate that practice with peak moments. As crazy as it may sound, shouldn't every student have an academic experience that's as memorable as prom? <laughs>